everyone, it's Muhammad again, and welcome back to a new tutorial using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, actually, recently I got lots of messages about tutorials, about where are you Muhammad right now, and yeah, all of that. I'm really sorry, I, I just have been busy in my obligations in my real life. So, that tutorial would be making or showing the idea of making how to kill an enemy by jumping, an enemy like uh, Super Mario enemy. When you jump over an enemy, you kill him. So I will start using one of these things here. So let's start with not says Clorer. Let's yeah, 2D game. Yeah, 2D size scroller is fine. Okay, let's call it uh, anything. Enemy is fine. And don't include starter content. So for the lack of sprites or lack of uh, resources, I'll be using anything from here. So I'll be hiding this. It's just a little noisy. So I don't see it. And okay. So that's the sample here. I'll be Duplicating one of these to make it like an enemy or looks like an enemy. So, not this. Oh. And let's scale it down, scale it up, and let's put it here. So, let's say this is an enemy. This is not a platform. This is enemy, and that's a platform. So, select that enemy and give him a color. So, just know that this one is an enemy. Even we can rename it to enemy because naming it is very important in this such a thing and let's remove it from just the platforms j just uh, for no reason just for organizations for organization so let's select the character blueprint which I believe it's here yeah let's character blueprint and let's build a quick small logic so you need an empty area so this is animation inputs so okay let's get a reference to this reference to self and let's get the actor location the actor location so basically there is so many ways to achieve such a result some people use triggers but I found using triggers is very easy way it, it's not about easy or hard but sometimes it fails yeah sometimes it fails so some some people put okay let's say this is okay let's say this is the character and this is the enemy so they put here or where is my Okay, so they put here in this character like a small trigger and give it a name, and then put a, another small trigger on the enemy head and give it another name. Whenever these two triggers hit each other, so you have the do the function of killing the enemy. Basically, this method it start be used when when triggers was available. It's such an engine like Unreal Engine or or unity or all these engines but before those engines there weren't something called triggers it's all about ray casting shooting rays and that's what I'm going to, to do right now in fact so let's go back again to the blueprint and let's say okay this is the actor location I want from this actor location shoot a single line oh sorry it's not yeah single line by channel. So this is uh, what we call ray casting or casting array from this position from the actor actor location. So this is where the ray starts and where is the ray ends? I want to shoot a ray from the middle of this character to the bottom of his legs. So let's take here something called get vector and up. So vector up is uh, is a line start from this point and goes up but we want this line to be down so we will multiply with a float and give 
Okay, let's say minus 100. So now we say start from the point, from the, uh, the origin of our character, and then go down by 100 unit. And I think by 100 unit, and um, okay, let's add this vector, the vector, so we have a straight line going down. So to see this, we can from draw, we can persistence, so we can see it all the time. So let's save, compile, and run. Okay, it's not running. Actually, I need to put this somewhere, which should be for now for tick, even tick. Sorry for that. And let's. So as you can see, there is a line here going from the middle to the bottom of the character. Yeah, yeah, it looks fine. So maybe, maybe we can here make it minus 150. So we just make it a bit longer. I'm not sure if 100. Oh wow, it's too long. 150 is too long, so what I mean is too long, if you are staying in here and there is an enemy on the other platforms, the lower platforms, so it, it will auto die. So let's just make it a little higher. So let's say 110 is fine. So let's save this and compile. Okay, I, I don't need to check right now. So let's continue making this. So when you have this line, so this line which is called ray casting, you casting a ray are, are in this direction right now. So there is a hit. When this ray hit a point, this hit will give you some information. So we get this information by breaking, break, breaking this hit result. So we can get the location, the normal, the impact point, the physics material, the hit actor, which is we care about. So we are going to check, okay, this line, this red line, which can change its color, I think, this red line hit something, hit an actor. So let's check this actor name. Get display name of this actor. And let's compare if this actor name equals string equals string equals enemy. Or you can set a different name, whatever. If this hit that, we check if that's true. So then let's do the function. Let's let's make here a custom event and let's call it uh, enemy death. And just here because I, I don't have some assets, so I'll make just in this enemy this is just one print message and let's call it enemy hit. Okay. So if this true, so I'll do the enemy this thing. So let's connect this here. So yeah. So after you casting the line, you check if it hit an actor called enemy, then it it kills this enemy or run any other function this enemy have. So if we play here, so as long as we run, no problem. No problem, but when we hit the enemy, it keep giving us this message. If we go down, no problem. If we hit the enemy from side, no problem. We we can put a different triggers from the enemy or different lines from the enemy to kill me from the side. But if we jump again on his top, we keep getting this message. So yeah, this message keep printing too much. There is so many solutions for this. So for example, we can come here and. If you are working, for example, like this character, it's based on character controller. So we get character, character movement. Okay, get character movement. And let's see, check ground is moving on ground. So if this character is moving on the ground, here, let's make an if statement uh, branch. So if the character on the ground, if it's true, so we don't need to line to cast this line. We want to cast this line when he's in the middle of the air and about to hit an enemy. So 
yeah, if it's false. So let's save, compile, and run. So, as you can see, as long as I'm on the ground, there is no lines to be drawn. If I'm on the air, there is lines to be drawn. So if I jump in the air, here, and come up, top of my enemy, enemy get hit. Yeah. If I come here, that's, it's too noisy, let's just make it for duration. Sorry. Tons, play, jump, and let's jump. Enemy get tapped. Yo, yeah, it's a good solution for this, but but yeah. So when when enemy get hit, okay, we can disable this enemy so we don't get this message anymore. Yeah. So this is a core idea of applying the same approach in any game. Yeah, it's just tray casting. So uh, I hope it was useful for you and yeah, there will be more tutorials in the future and yeah, enjoy it. See you. Bye.